You alright? Hello. <laughs> Your crack makes me so sad, but are you doing okay? Have you been sleeping okay still? Not really, I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to help or okay, just bad dreams, yeah, that's totally fair. I'm sorry. It was really tough. I'm not really sure what I can do to help, but I'm here. I'm here for you and we can just try to we don't have to talk about it if you don't want to anymore, but I don't know. You hurting at all or are you feeling any are you feeling better? Uh, my leg keeps hurting, but I think that's still healing, yeah. I'm sure it'll get better. Just try to rest, take it easy, you know? We won't do anything too intense, you know? <laughs> do you wanna work on tasks or was there anything else you wanted to do? Yeah? Okay. You wanna go over to the community center? We can see what they are. I haven't looked at them yet today or this week or anything, so we can go look. Uh, what do we got? Feed the egg their favorite food. Write a letter to another egg and put it in their mailbox. Give the egg a bath. Okay. Those are pretty chill tasks. <laughs> They're pretty easy. What is your favorite food? I don't even know what your favorite food is. Uh, I actually really like chimichangas. Ooh, yeah, we can make some chimichangas. That sounds so good. Oh my god, I love chimichangas. Oh my god, yes. And then I'm gonna have to figure out how to make a bath, but we'll figure that out. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess you haven't had a bath the whole time I've been your mom, but... <laughs> Nature bath? We could do a nature bath, that's okay. I can get you some soap and you can just go <laughs> in like the lake by our house. <laughs> that sounds really, that sounds really clean, doesn't it? <laughs> or we can make an actual bath if that would be better, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Wait, I already have all the stuff to make it. <laughs> do you want to make it? It's in the storage if you want to make it, or do you want me to make it? We both make some? Yeah. <laughs> Took a long time to eat, big chimichanga, yee. Yeah. It's good though, right? Do you like it? Like those burritos might have been sitting in there for a while, but it should still be good. <laughs> uh, it tastes better if you spice it up. Yee. True, true, true. Tide Pod Challenge. Eat a bar of soap. <laughs> the Tide Pod Challenge was crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you need to write a letter and take a bath. Uh... Do you want to work on writing a letter and I'll try to figure out a bath? Do you want to do that? You can write to any any of the eggs, any of your siblings, <laughs> whoever you want to write to. Okay, that works. You're in a bath. Okay, then here's some soap. Oh, you got some soap already. You're ahead of it. Then some bubbles. It's a bubble bath. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You feel clean. I don't know how, how to do that here. There you go. The soap, yeah. <laughs> I'm a great parent. I know how to give my kid a bath. Let's go. Give you bubbles and everything. It's amazing, right? <laughs> oh, so are you eating the soap? <laughs> oh my god. Please don't do the Tide Pod Challenge. <laughs> I want to try it. I don't... <laughs> are you sure? It doesn't taste very good. I promise. It doesn't taste very good. Big job. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, it doesn't- it, it, why- okay, um... <laughs> yeah, I told you it doesn't taste very good. Who'd you write your letter to? Oh, I can read it? Yeah, okay, okay. I just wanted to- I didn't want to ask to read it because I didn't know if it was like a personal letter. I don't want to get in your business, but if you're okay with me reading it, I'll read it to Flora. Uh, thank you for being there for me when I was down, always making me smile and gifting me all those pretty things. You have been one of the kindest sisters I could have ever been gifted with, and calms me down to know you're in this world with me. I haven't been the best at showing you this back. I love you, and compassion you give me with ease, but I want you to know it doesn't go unnoticed or unappreciated. I hope to show you how much more you mean to me in more than just words because you're worth more than the universe can allow me to say. Your big sister Sage. Aww. It's so cute. <laughs> Should we go put that in her mailbox? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Pretty. <laughs> I haven't seen Neon for a bit. Do you want to see what Neon's up to? Maybe I can ask them. Yeah? Here. I'll message them. 
Anything else you want to do today? Any plans you- big plans you had? Oh! <gasps> pretty! Oh my god! Oh my god, pretty flower! <laughs> oh, is it for me? Should I- should I pick it up? <gasps> hey, that's so cute! Oh my god! It's so cute! I'll keep this forever. Yeah, I'll put it in my inventory. It'll always be there. Hello? Hello! Hi! Hi, how's it going? Good. That's uh, good. Uh, how are you and Sage doing? Oh, we've been doing pretty good. I mean, as good as we can be after everything, but... You know yeah, how it is. I bet. Yeah. Where's Marcel at? Oh, Marcel? Yeah. Um... They have been in and out of little comas. You know how, like, the eggs in the Carl Chambers, they've... They were in a big coma. I think maybe a late side effect from that. Oh. So, Marcel's been in and out hmm. of comas and stuff. So that's weird. Yeah, but it's it's okay. Yeah. I'm. Um, yeah. Uh, Marcel's just been in the safe home, so I've been taking care of Marcel. And some of the eggs have left some books and stuff and gifts for Marcel. And I'll just, just give it to Marcel whenever Marcel wakes up, and then Marcel sometimes writes books back, depending on if Marcel wakes up or not. So yeah, just been in and out of coma, so I thought it'd just be best if kept Marcel a safe home. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. How are they writing letters in a coma? Well, no, that's why I said they've been in and out of like little comas. So sometimes they'll wake up from the coma, and then they'll write, and then. I'll give back to everybody else, but hmm. Cause yeah, Marcel's just in a fragile state where like in and out because of the side effects, so when did these little comas start happening? Friday, last Friday. Okay. And they've just been like on and off? Yeah. That's um weird. Yeah, mostly they've just been in a sleeping coma um every now and then they'll wake up for just like 15 or like 10 minutes at a time something like that and then they'll hang out with me until they pass out again um but you know i'm analyzing it i'm trying to see if there's a way to fix it and stuff like that and see if i can get marcel to come back but you know i don't know it seems like it's probably gonna not happen for a while so yeah you know. if they're like I in just... and out of comas like can't they still like yeah come back like when they're out of a coma and like hang out instead of just well, being in the safer home all the time like well and the si well the thing is is i don't want them to like pass out somewhere dangerous or anything like that so i just think it's best if and plus when marcel's in like a like state where it's like drowsy and marcel can't really isn't really that like there really so but you know marcel's there enough to like write letters and stuff and just really sleepy because Flora mm. has written a letter and then Marcel written back and so yeah okay but yeah Marcel's doing fine yeah yeah you're not worried at all well I mean I'm, I'm very worried but I've you know I'm keeping my chin up as much as I can be Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I hope they're okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I feel like what's more important is that, you know, Sage got, you know, a bit ago. Wait, what's that? Huh? <laughs> I hear you. You know, Sage got, um... Killed? Um... Yeah! <laughs> I just didn't know if that word was touchy around here or something. No. I'm okay. I was there when it happened. Okay. I just didn't know if you didn't want to talk about it or anything. That's all. I'd rather not, but if someone brings okay. it up I can. Well I just didn't, if you wanted to talk you can about it. I don't know. You know, I'm your bestie, I'm here for you. If you need anything. Oh, I feel better. Oh, I think Marcel will really like this when Marcel wakes up. Thank you for giving that. 
<laughs> Hopefully Marcel wakes up out of a coma soon. Yeah. When they do, let me know and I can uh, I can see them oh, again. Dino nuggies. Uh, yeah. I'll Would it try. be okay to visit them at all? Like, they're my nephew. I want to make sure they can want to see them. Uh, I, I just don't think that's a good idea, I think. Because it's, it's a safe home and I just want to make sure that, like, um, you know, Marcel's completely safe and since they're such in a fragile state, I just want to make sure they're good where they are. I don't think they need visitors right now, especially in the state they're in, so. Plus, it's the safe home. We're only we're supposed to know about it too, so, you know. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Is there anything else you want to talk about? No, you should get back to taking care of Marcel. Yeah, I, I gotta go see if Marcel's good. But yeah, lovely chatting with both of you. Yeah. I I hope you feel better soon, Sage. Same with you. You guys mm -hmm. both deserve it. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Take I'll care of Marcel. Go. Let them know I said hi. Will do. Will do. Mm -mm. In and out of comas. That's interesting. No, it seemed weird how happy Neon was about that. I don't know. Did that seem weird to you? Because before, like, Neon was really upset. We've never been in a coma. Yeah, you guys were just in cryostasis for a while, but... That's different. I don't know. Like, after everything that happened, like, before, like, after, like, Neon was being weird about... Hmm. I don't know. I guess there's nothing we can do. Help. Marcel's okay, but I've just been worried about them ever since. All that too big a smile hiding something, yeah. Neon's never this positive, even. Like, since Marcel lost a life, they've never been this positive, so. That thing smiled at me last time when it. It smiled at me last when it. Broke my ribs in the same way. Yeah. Um, not sure what we can do though. Neon won't let me see them. Um, I'm sure Neon wouldn't do anything bad. I'm sure Marcel's fine. I'm probably just overreacting. Not like Neon would ever hurt Marcel or anything. <laughs> I don't know, Neon seemed really possessive and weird last time, but I'm sure. Marcel's fine, I'm sure. I know the coma thing seems a little weird, but I'm sure Marcel's okay. I shouldn't worry too much, I'm probably just... I'm probably just worrying over nothing. Hello. Oh, Marcel doesn't have a backpack. Is there anything we can even do, though, is the real question. I know something's wrong, but... I don't know. I don't think Neon would do anything bad. I don't know. Neon's my best friend. I don't think they'd do anything bad. Um, they're, they're just happy because they're... They're happy because they're just, like, trying to deal with it. They're just grieving in their own way. That's all this is. I don't like it. I don't trust it. Everything feels wrong. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think... I don't think... I don't... I mean, I trust Neon. I don't think they'd ever do anything bad. But they're my best friend. I trust them. It's weird, but I... I know Neon would never do anything wrong. I... That's... They're my best friend. I mean... Something's wrong. I swear on my last two lives, I'll find it. Yeah. We'll figure it out. I'm sure. Don't worry. I'm, I'm sure everything's okay. I I genuinely don't think Neon would ever do anything bad. Like, Neon, Neon's like <laughs> looked evil in the face and fought the devil with blood. I wouldn't claim to be the best judge, but those eyes don't lie. I need help. That's all I want to say to you about them. You seem very attached. It's hard not to be. <laughs> I know they need- I know they do need help, but I think it'll- I'll be fine. I'm- I'm hopeful at least. You wanna go to bed, Mama? Okay. 
That's okay. I mean, I'm sure we can figure this out. I'm sure. It'll all be okay, I'm sure. Okay? Okay. Well, good night. Hope you sleep well. Hey, good night. Good night. Here, I'll come in quick. Good night. Hope you sleep okay, honey. Good night. I love you. I'm gonna check up here. I haven't been to my therapy office in a while. No one's really needed a therapy session. <laughs> still love all the signs. All still so cute. It's actually so pretty. I'm sorry. What's that about? Was this book always here? I don't even remember. Cry for peace. this okay um dear whoever above have I not given enough I did everything right but yet my parents still left me left another child more than they could ever love me and took him with them I was right behind in the remains of what used to be my home Another confined space where I was forced to sit with my thoughts, my anger, my sadness, my grief. And yet that wasn't enough. I know I burned it all down. I couldn't stand to see what was built on a lie and false hope for love and family. So I breathed of what they could never stay in. Sorry, and I've said it so many times to you, but it's not enough. And I'm unable to sleep again, crying and in pain every time I walk because I fought to keep my mama alive and to avenge my brother from that nasty creature. I fought in your name and you turned your back on me. Why? Am I supposed to live in constant pain? I'm never being enough? Is my duty to live every day knowing I can never be anything other than a joke to you? A sick game of twisted fate? I won't stop fighting until I die. My family means so much to me because after what you caused me to go through, I was given my own angel, my mama. I hope there's a God above I can finally get some peace after what has been done. I don't know if I even believe all I saw when I died was a pin to my face and burning down of the burning of all the bullets, beatings, and broken bones I had in just a few minutes. If you do exist, give me a sign. Show me you do care and don't just want me to live in pain. Because I will always turn to you when I don't have anywhere else and I should know I can trust you. I will be in safe hands. My mom will always be there. But when she can't, I need you until I can't fight on my own. Oh my god. Heavy. This poor, this poor kid. She's been through so much. I don't know what I can do to help her. this promise is a promise to never give up and that one day my hands will be bloody not with my own but with revenge and fear of the wretched creature that took my family's security I don't have to do that she's just a kid Why she feels the need to protect me? Like, I don't need protecting him. <sighs> she wanted to avenge myself, but. 
I don't know. It's a lot. It's for one kid to go through. What should I do? I don't even... I don't even know if... Uh, I don't know if my daughter's okay. I don't know if my nephew's okay. I don't know if my best friend is okay. I don't know anything. I can't save anyone. I can't do anything. It's useless, so yeah. There's nothing I can do to help. I'm just here, just... floating. I don't know. I don't know what I should do.